day 35. Don't give up. He left Judea and departed again to Galilee. John chapter 4 verse 3. When we read the Gospels carefully, we discover that Jesus made several round trips to Judea and Galilee and to the surrounding regions. Why did he do this? He did it so that everyone could hear the message of the kingdom. He did it because he wanted to give everyone not just an opportunity, but several opportunities to repent. I like that the scripture in John chapter 4 verse 3 uses the word again. Though Jesus had been to Galilee before, it went back to Galilee again. He did not just say, well, I gave these people a chance, but they didn't believe me, so that's their loss. That tells us something about God. He is not a God that just gives us one chance, but he's a God that gives us several chances. His heart is that everyone who hears him believes in him, and even though people reject him, is always ready to receive anyone that turns back to him. Moreover, this also shows that Jesus had a don't give up, never say die attitude. Though people rejected him both in Judea and Galilee, it went back again and again. We should have the same attitude. If at first we don't succeed, we shouldn't just throw in the towel and give up. We should try, try, and try again. It may take us doing some things a few times before we succeed. It may take talking to people several times before they finally listen to us. Some people try something once, and if it doesn't work, they get dejected and give up. Again, that is not the attitude that Jesus had, so it is not the attitude we should have. Now, let me ask you, what if you knew that you had to fail in your endeavor six times, but knew you would succeed the seventh time? I bet your attitude would change. Each time you failed, instead of getting dejected, you would get excited because you would know that you are getting closer to your seventh try. You're getting closer to succeeding. Have you given up too early on some goal that you have? Have you tried something, failed at it, and dropped it? Is there someone or something that pops into your heart immediately? If so, consider that your heart is telling you not to give up. In fact, you should never give up until God speaks to your heart and directs you differently. Remember, it is by trusting in God and persevering that we inherit the promises. So don't give up. Did you know the distance between Judea and Galilee stretches from 50 miles to 125 miles? For our meditation, we're going to read from Proverbs chapter 24, verse 16. Though a righteous man falls seven times, he will get up, but the wicked will stumble into ruin. Let us pray. Lord, I choose today not to give up on the things that you have called me to do. Help me to persevere and so inherit your promises. Amen.